Hey, what's up, Point? Good morning. This is Pastor Matt on this uh, very rainy Wednesday morning, and it's so great to be bringing you uh, a little update this morning. Hey, this morning you might notice, uh, as you're walking around today, you might notice some people that have ashes on their head in the sign of a cross. That's because today is Ash Wednesday. And uh, Ash Wednesday is a time that traditionally in the church, uh, people would celebrate the beginning of a season we call Lent. And Lent was a season that was all about preparing for Easter. And so today on Ash Wednesday, what people would do is they would show up to church and they will like get these ashes on their head as a reminder that from dust we were formed, like God talks about in the book of Genesis. You know, he formed us from the dust of the earth and breathed life into us. And it says, from dust you will return. So it's, it's kind of this, um, at times, morbid thought that, you know what, we're not here forever. Uh, we're going to die. And uh, I thought that was really interesting this morning, as, as you'll see those people with ashes walking around. I was thinking about this book, uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel is this prophet in the Old Testament. And, and Ezekiel was talking to the people of Israel, and, and he was forecasting a lot of doom and destruction. And, and by the time he hits Ezekiel chapter 37, there's this little section called Dry Bones. And God takes Ezekiel out to this dry bones. He gives him this vision and he says, you know, shows him all these bones scattered about. And he says, who can give these life? And Ezekiel looks at him and he says, only you, Lord. And an amazing thing happens. God starts using Ezekiel to breathe life into these bones and these dry scattered bones. They, they come up and they form people and then God breathes life into them. And Ezekiel gets to see this, this picture of resurrection in the midst of that destruction. And, and this, is, this is the line it says uh, in the Old Testament here. It says, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, O oh, my people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord. How? When I open graves and bring you up from them. I think, I think that's an amazing story today as we're looking at Ash Wednesday because uh, as we focus on the season of Lent, uh, we're going to be focusing on the resurrection. The fact that, yeah, when you put the ashes on your head, it is talking about dust you were formed and to dust you shall go, but the hope of the scripture is not just, not just in this obvious proclamation of, of birth and death, but rather in the fact that Jesus says, I am coming as the resurrection and the life. John chapter 11, he raises Lazarus from the dead. And Mary says, I know there'll be a hope and a resurrection for Lazarus. And Jesus says, no, 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 I'm the resurrection. That's what we're going to focus on this Easter season, that resurrection. So as you're going around today, remember Ash Wednesday. As you're thinking through the Lent season, I know a lot of people try and give something up or, or take something on. So uh, think about what you might want to give up or take on. But what I would include in that is coming to the point uh, this Sunday and every Sunday in Lent as a way to focus on the resurrection, which is the new life we have outside of death. It's, it's an amazing picture and it's foundational for our faith. So I'm really excited to start that with you guys this Sunday. And then also this Sunday we're going to be doing our second Sunday point party, which means we're going to gather everybody together and we're going to take a chance. Uh, Nukes is going to give us some free catering, uh, great sandwiches. And so we're going to take a chance just to get to know some of the other people around us and get to have some fellowship time. So I'd like to invite you guys out to that right after church. It's going to be at the Lepel's house uh, at around noon. So come out to that. We're going to have free catered food. Uh, it's going to be a blast and just an opportunity to hang out. And hey, as we're walking into this Lent season and our new series called Resurrection, um, focus in on that hope we have. Check out Ezekiel chapter 37 and some of the other resurrection chapters. If you have questions about that, ask me, or, or you can even jump into the book of John. Jesus talks about it a lot. But I'm looking forward to sharing worship with you guys this Wednesday. Thank you for love.